The Sony Xperia Z just arrived, so let's get into the box and see what it's all about. Hi, I'm Taylor Martin, this is Pocket Now, and this is a Sony Xperia Z unboxing. We are here with the second of two smartphones that Sony announced at CES this year, the Xperia ZL. We unboxed the Xperia Z last week, and let's get into the box and see how this one's different, what's different in the box, and so on and so forth. Just like the other one, the box itself is very easy to open. Just pick up the top and it's opened. Inside, right on the left, you have the device itself in its little plastic packaging. We'll set that aside. Also, like the Xperia Z, this one comes with two screen protectors. And these are actually one for the front, one for the back. The world's smallest microfiber cloth and an installation card which helps you smooth out any air bubbles that may or may not be beneath. This little flap is easily removed. You have your quick startup guides and other reading materials, pamphlets and whatnot, um, information, more information, and your quick startup guide. Here you have your earbuds, the same exact ones. Nice little in earbuds that at least look nice. I didn't actually get to try them out with the Xperia Z, that is. Micro USB cable. Here you have extra tips for the earbuds. I don't know if we can get that to focus. Probably not. We'll just move along. And here we have another international charger or a charger from another country that I, I also don't know. <laughs> so it's a USB wall adapter, of course. <clears throat> So let's get this stuff back in the box. Without further ado, let's take a look at the device itself. It's in this plastic packaging, so we'll discard that. We don't need that. On the front of the device, the face has the same 5-inch 1080p display as the Xperia Z, and the buttons are not capacitive or physical. They also are software buttons, so they're on screen, and they do take a they do take up a little bit of that 1080p display, so they do take up some pixels. I don't know exactly what the amount of that is. There, there's an earpiece there, and the microphone is down here to the bottom right corner. And you'll notice that there is no front-facing camera up here. It's not under the plastic. There is no front-facing camera. It's actually down here on the bottom right corner. And that's for landscape video calling, which makes sense. Most people make video calls like this, and it just looks weird. I hate portrait video calls. I hate pi portrait pictures. I hate portrait videos. So having this here kind of encourages people to turn to landscape. So kudos to Sony for that. If you turn around to the right edge of the device, you've got different buttons here. You actually have a physical camera button, which is awesome. Using Xperia Z, that's one thing I missed is having a physical camera button. Most don't have it, but it really felt like one that really needed it. There's a power button near the middle, and the volume rocker is up here on the top edge. Um, if you flip over, micro USB port, and I imagine that is either a speaker or microphone. You've got one there, one there. I don't know which is which. One's a speaker, one's a microphone, if I'm not mistaken. The top is the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and just that on the bottom. But on the back here, you've got this little door for SD card slot and micro SIM. <clears throat> and here on the back, you've got your 13.1 megapixel camera, loudspeaker, and a LED flash, and that is a noise canceling microphone and Xperia branding. So that's really all there is on the hardware here. But you will notice that this one has a textured back. It's a it's a lightweight plastic back, but it feels pretty nice. It's got a nice texturized feel to it. But to your favorite part, let's get the plastic. The Xperia Z, when we ripped the plastic off, made absolutely no sound. So let's get this close to the mic and see if this one will. A little itty bitty sound, but nothing like the nice plastic ripping sound that we want. I'm sorry, Sony has let us down in the plastics noise department. This has been the unboxing of the Sony Xperia Z L. Stay tuned for more ZL coverage. Thanks for watching. Keep it locked on pocketnow.com. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video if you liked it. And follow us on your social networks of choice. I'm Taylor Martin, and I will see you next time.